Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 1096 of One Piece today and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen during um, this one because of the way the previous one ended with Vegapunk starting to share some, um, some of these like stories about this place and uh, already dropping this revelation about um, how this uh, like technology already existed uh, 900 years ago so this is like some really big news um and yeah i want to um, i really hope that they show um, like what um, this place was actually like um 900 years ago i mean this is uh, pretty much uh, one of the big things of this story learning about uh, uh, the missing um, part of um, of uh, history and exactly what uh, Robin uh, is is searching for. So maybe this will give um, like some hints about um, like what could have happened and stuff. Like just uh, some um, information above all. So I'm just like really curious to find out more about this. It's um, it's been really amazing the start of this arc um, already. And I mean just the fact that they are at Vegapunk's place. Of course, um, this could be the place to learn about um, a lot of things. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure about uh, how much Vegapunk um, is going um, to share. I mean, uh, it's still hard to know how Vegapunk actually is because of this. Uh, like, before they even arrived here, I had a different view on Vegapunk. I actually thought it was a single guy and that uh, he wasn't uh, like that friendly. Um, but now it's uh, starting to feel different and uh, like there's already this connection between Vegapunk and Dragon so there's already a lot to, um, to consider so I'm uh, like really curious to see how he's going to be with um, the Straw at Pirates he clearly um, knows them um, but yeah there was also this like really intense moment during the previous episode with um, the Straw at Pirates fighting against um, one of these um, Man, I always forget the name. Not the pacifistas, there's a... Um... Okay, I'm going to have to get used to that name. I know there's already um, a different one. Uh, and they mentioned it quite um, a lot during the previous episode. Um, but yeah, they, they had to fight against uh, the one uh, who resembles Jinbei. And uh, it's, it's, it's just like really scary like how much um, they did against uh, that one. And uh, it wasn't even... Uh, enough to like scratch him so again i don't know how this will be in the future with um, all of the others it's really it's really hard to know like how things will happen considering uh, what is going on uh, right now but yeah just really can't wait to see what they're going to show during um, this episode so hope you guys are ready and let's start it Man, I hope that they go back and show this place 900 years ago. I mean... I don't know if I should believe it or not, but it's a story I'm interested in. Yeah, like, what happened? Oh. Hmm. These. The one under the ear void. Hmm. Yeah, she's the one to know about these things. My god. Yep. They knew too much. Oh, and it was this specific thing that they learned about. Oh. 
Damn, so that's what it was about. My God. Literally just revealed everything about... Not everything, but the main thing about the 100 year void. Yeah, and we just saw it recently. <laughs> He's pretty blunt about it. <laughs> All right, and this, now they know. Oh my god. I, I mean, it's not like it makes a whole lot of difference. They are already wanted, so... <laughs> There's also that, but I mean... Could this be true? That's a good point. I mean, if they keep doing this, it means... They are on the right track. Hmm. <laughs> Man, this just freaking out. Wait, don't tell me... Was he... Damn... Oh... So that's where he comes in. Oh damn! It is him from before! Clover! Hmm... He managed to escape all the time! Damn, this moment. Been a while. And this is it. Did they mention this at this point? It's hard to remember, it was so long ago. I'm assuming it was. Hmm. I mean, I want to know why that war even happened. Damn. 
I don't remember if he mentioned it or not after this. But I remember them sharing a whole lot during this, during this moment. But it's hard to know how much. That's crazy though how everything is connecting and... What a revelation. Feels bad for Robin to also like remember this so hard to her. This is this is him. Hey, what the? What is that? Oh, they saved them, the books. So that's how we learned about it. I think I remember something like this being mentioned. I'm not too sure though. Man, this feels so personal to Vegapunk as well. I'm not gonna lie, I... I miss the young Robin, but it's such a sad moment. Also Olvia. I mean, also Saul, he was so, so nice to Robin. Man... She can't do that to me. Making me cry too. Hmm. Oh. That's Dragon! That's him, right? That was the first time they... They saw each other. Man, what an episode already. 
so emotional, but it's like full of revelations. Yeah. Of course, Luffy and Chopper just messing around. It really feels like Vegapunk is... He's not like siding with the world government at all. He also wants to learn more about this. Or, or, or like, he already knows a lot. Man, these two. Man, there's there's so many like It's like my feelings are going back and forth. There's like fun moments happening, then it's like a really sad one, and now these ones just <laughs> doing their thing. Man, I'm so excited about this. Finally getting more context about the 100 year void. But I still want to know more. Why exactly they, they attacked that kingdom? Why they don't even want the name to be known? A lot of questions. I mean, I don't think they work anymore, but... Watch it actually, like, start moving. Robonosuke! <laughs> I mean, if Luffy is good at something, it's at coming up with some random names. Like those nicknames. I love how it always includes Robo. <laughs> oh. Robo King though. I mean King. Wait, it's, it's actually... What is that? That was actually it, Robo King? What was that though? There was like someone. Yeah, that. There's someone there. She recognizes. What the? It's like... How did he end up there? And who is this guy? I mean... <laughs> considering how... My god. Not too sure, but... What is that on his head? I 
I'm kind of wondering if this is the actual Vegapunk. The one... More because of the legs that they showed before. Like the one who went to Ohara. This one looks a lot more like him. I think. Oh. Oh my god. And they're flying. Man, <laughs> this place is so crazy. What's that? So that's the actual Vegapunk. So I'm guessing to the, and that's the leader, of course. I need to read that again, but my god, this episode! <laughs> I'm I, I'm like really loving the amount of big revelations they make during each of these past episodes. It's really insane. I just want to read again the literally the last subtitle. Okay, leader of the Navy's special science group. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't like something like that I didn't know. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> what is this? So I was actually right about like thinking that Vegapunk should be like this um, this old guy. Like, I'm not too sure like how this uh, how this is exactly because like they they showed those other ones before i'm assuming those um, are like um, those were created by by the actual vegapunk and they share like the same um, they have like this vegapunk um, like code names or something i'm not too sure about the dual thing maybe they will make it more clear during um, the next episode or so uh, but yeah now it's uh, at least a more um, it makes more sense, like, how um, there's actually um, the Dr. Vegapunk and it's not uh, the other six uh, um, uh, combined. So, again, I'm really happy about this. They they shared a lot during this episode. I'm even more excited to keep watching, um, like, what's going to happen during this arc. It's already so, so insane. Um, but yeah, like, I want to... <laughs> Like, see a lot more of Vegapunk, it's starting to feel, um, like, I'm not too sure how to put it, but I was a bit worried um, about this before, them, uh, like, literally arriving at Vegapunk's um, uh, lab, uh, but now it's becoming, like, uh, really fun to watch, uh, it doesn't seem, um, like, I'm talking more about the other one, I guess, Vegapunk 1, um, it doesn't seem like, um, like a dress or anything, he was even sharing this story and being, uh, like, uh, like, I'm not too sure about the right word to use, but um, when it comes um, to Robin, like, he knew about um, what happened to her, and uh, it's clear that, um, like, he felt bad about what she went through and stuff, and it was really emotional to watch um, those moments again with, like, Robin, uh, like, remembering, uh, like, the things that she went through, and, like, when she started to cry, I mean, that was, that was just such a big hit on me, I wasn't uh, expecting to... Um, to see her like this uh, once again. But yeah, it was, again, still a really interesting moment because of everything that was being um, revealed. Um, and uh, again, even though, like, even though he was saying that uh, this was just uh, a theory, uh, considering how the world government keeps um, trying to, er to erase um, all of these people who, who learn too much about uh, the things from the past, um, it just proves uh, his point and uh, like it's uh, making this theory uh, more and more um, uh, uh, real. So again, I I must say that um, right now I trust him. I believe um, everything that uh, he is talking um, about. But then again, I will have to keep watching this to see uh, where this um, is going. Because in the end, uh, like 
Vegapunk uh, and like all of these Vegapunks, um, they they still work for the the world government. So it's uh, and like you said, like it's it's dangerous for him um, as well. If they learn about uh, how he knows about this stuff, he's going to uh, get killed um, as well. So again, there's a lot to take into consideration during um, this whole uh, situation. Um, but uh, it's incredible how he's being so so open with um, the Straw White Pirates and sharing this um, uh, with them. It was also like really funny the way they reacted because it just told them that um, like they erase everyone who learns about this. So now that they know, they feel like even more um, more pressure or like uh, more. Uh, they feel like they are they are in real danger, but in the end they are they are um, already wanted. So it's not like um, there's like much uh, changing. So again, it was um, a really good moment. Now, like I'm thinking a lot about um, how this episode ended. It's been the thing during these previous episodes, the the final moments of each episode. Um, they are always uh, really impactful. There's always like something really big happening. Um, and now there's this, I was like already wondering about because the moment they showed um, uh, Vegapunk um, arriving at uh, Ohara and finding those books, I noticed like um, his uh, like sort of skinny legs and then like the big head as well. And it's not like the, the head was big, right? I'm not too sure how to describe it, but um, it's like... Um, there was like uh, his normal uh, body and like his face, but then the top of his head extended um, a lot. It's like uh, maybe it was like his hair was just like really, really big. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, the, the two things uh, that I noticed. And then when this guy showed up um, at the end, they even like... Um, they showed his legs a lot, like uh, how it's pretty much just... just they look like two cables or something. It's really hard to describe it, but it's ve it's very uh, like um, unique or so to say. Uh, but yeah, like it instantly crossed my mind that uh, this guy resembled uh, the other one um, a lot more. So now it makes more sense. Uh, more sense. This uh, this one is the actual Vega Punk, not um, the other ones. This is like the this one is the leader. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, I also wonder what happened to to his head. Like, I was... Uh, if this is, like, the real one, like, it looks different from before, of course. Uh, what happened before was um, a long time uh, ago as well. I think uh, 22 years ago, right? I'm not too sure about um, if that's it or if it's 20. I think it's 22. Uh, but yeah, it's, it was uh, a long time, of course. It would change um, appearance. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, why that specific thing on top of his head, it's like, um, I'm not sure, it's like half of an apple or something, it also looks, looks a bit like some butt cheeks, but I mean, it's just like my mind going wild, I guess, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really fun to see, like, the design of this guy, and uh, I wonder what is, like, again, what is this, uh, the actual Vegapunk, going uh, to share with them i mean at this point they just uh, met each other so um, there's like no way of knowing uh, if he's going to um, to talk uh, much about uh, some of these like more important things uh, with luffy and the others or not um but i mean the first impression was um, i guess positive it was just like uh, teaching luffy and chopper how to use those shoes and like to start flying so that was um, that was pretty fun um, but yeah, again, I don't even know like what else to think about this. It was like just a really good episode. I really enjoyed um, everything that they showed. And uh, then again, they also showed um, like more of these moments from the past, uh, something that they showed before. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I mean, I'm trying like to find that moment in between arcs or something. Maybe it was during the the Annie's lobby uh, uh, arc. Not too sure, but uh, I mean that would be one of the good times to share more information about Robin, right? I'm not exactly sure about when it happened, but I remember those moments from before with Saul, Olvia, and uh, like Professor Clover, everyone that was uh, uh, at uh, O'Hara and the things um, that happened there. It was just a really it was really shocking to learn about um, Robin's past, uh, everything that happened to her, how she was like pretty much uh, alone after this and had to, had to like um, 
run and like try to not be killed by uh, like the navy, the world government, who like who was trying to uh, to kill her because she knew too much. She she was like from OR. Um, but yeah, like I I also remember how she was um, like she got like um, taken in by this family or something. Uh, some people. Uh, like saw her and decided to um, to have her stay with them, but then they just um, turned uh, her in, right? They they saw like the do wanted uh, poster or something, and they instantly like wanted the money and didn't care about her. It was just like really, it was really sad for for Robin, like just uh, just a, like. A depressing moment, or so to say. Like I'm not too sure how to put it. I like I. Every time I remember it, I just um, become really sad. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, either way, it was uh, important to to relive these moments just to to like be more aware of uh, what was uh, said during it, what Professor Clover was talking about. Because uh, I uh, I'm like pretty positive that um, these things were mentioned uh, before, but uh, at that time uh, I didn't have uh, much to go with. Like not uh, like now at least. Um, and, uh, like, again, now that uh, Vigapunk is sharing uh, this story, things are pretty much, um, like, connecting. And, uh, like, of course, there are still a lot of questions. There's still, like, no way of knowing why this war even happened. But it's pretty clear that uh, there was, like, this... Uh, the situation between this specific kingdom um, and uh, the rest of the world, and it's exactly what um, the world government doesn't want um, others to know. And if if they don't want um, other people to find out about this kingdom and uh, pretty much the ideology, like they mentioned, it's because um, people would uh, like start looking at the world government in a different way, and uh, it's like the world government would look. Uh, pretty bad uh, in people's eyes so again i want to see what it uh, what it actually was i'm assuming it was something pretty big or like something that uh, would um, like i'm not too sure like how to put it but um, if it wasn't uh, something like really really important it wouldn't make sense for the world government to go like this far to try and uh, hide it right like if they're doing these kind of things it's because it's something like really important that would completely change uh, like i want to say the order of um, this world so again really curious to find out more about this i don't know how much they're going to reveal during um, this arc but this was already a pretty good start um, uh, to it um, and there's also something really really interesting is the fact that even though the straw at pirates are like split right now into two groups um they are learning about um like i don't want to say the the same exact things but uh, they are learning about uh, things at the same pace or so to say like the uh, nami and the others finding um all of those uh, Vigapunks and now like finding Vigapunk 1 and getting uh, all of this uh, information uh, but then also Luffy and the others like actually finding the like the real Dr. Vigapunk so the the original one or so to say um, and uh, also like I'm assuming um, they're going to learn about uh, some things like of course it's hard to know how much he's going to reveal but uh, they are uh, like finding uh, some of these um, important uh, important stuff so i want to see what they're going to um, to do during the next episode maybe like i would expect them to focus more on the actual vigapunk right now and like what um, he is going to like how he's going to interact with um, with luffy and the others um but yeah there's also something that just crossed my mind uh, like what uh, vigapunk was saying he was talking about uh, like Warping or something? Maybe space-time distorted while I was warping. So it, I guess he was just like testing something and it didn't go as planned. But it, it, it's quite like... It's quite crazy like uh, talking about warping and stuff. I mean that's some really advanced stuff. Of course it's a part of uh, what it does so it shouldn't be like that much um, of a surprise. 
Uh, but yeah, it was really funny because it really felt like they were activating the robot, but it was... Um, I'm not... like. I was about to say just Vegapunk, but it's not just, it's uh, like actually Vegapunk um, revealing himself. So yeah, again, I'm really happy about this. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen during um, the next uh, episode. So with this, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.